This is the Star News Brief. I'm Valentine Ludiama. At least four by-elections are looming from across the country with close allies of President William Ruto in the bicameral parliament set to resign to take up cabinet jobs. The Star has also established that Ruto is faced with the headache of dishing out a half of his cabinet to women as part of his pre-election pledge, with several of his lieutenants crumbling for the few slots. There is anxiety in the team as to who will eventually be lucky as the president must also ensure the top jobs have the face of Kenya. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazeti.com. National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula faces his first major test when he decides which coalition holds a majority membership in the House. Showdown looms as both Azimio Lomoja, One Kenya and Kenya Kwanza are claiming majority and have already picked members for leader and deputy leader of majority and majority and deputy majority whip positions. Kenyans will be watching whether Wetangula's relationship with Kenya Kwanza will inform his decision when members reconvene later this month. President William Ruto has embarked on a diplomatic charm offensive in efforts that could see global partners collaborate with his administration on key pillars of the Kenya Kwanza agenda. The president left Nairobi on Sunday morning for visits to the United Kingdom and the United States and is scheduled to hold talks with various world leaders. A State House statement revealed that Ruto is scheduled to attend a reception to be hosted by King Charles III for world leaders at Buckingham Palace on his arrival to the United Kingdom. The Kenya Kwanza Alliance outmaneuvered the Azmiu Lomoja coalition to control the leadership of the Council of Governors. The Council of Governors is a non partisan organization established under the section of 19 of the Intergovernmental Relation Act 2012, compromising of the 47 governors. Kenya Kwanza won two out of the three coveted positions at the Council of Governors the chairperson, vice chairperson, and whip. Kenyaga Governor Anwe Goro and Nandis Stephen Sang, both of UDA, won the chairperson and whip positions respectively. The first batch of the cheaper fertilizer promised by President William Ruto will start jetting into the country from next week. Speaking to journalists on Saturday, former Moroccan ambassador to Kenya El Mokhtar Gambo said the two governments had signed a deal that would allow Morocco to bring in the commodity in the country. Morocco is one of the main producers of fertilizers on the continent, which the president had promised to bring in to retail at 3,500 shillings from the current 6,500 shillings. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazeti.com.